Um, and speaking of that, I know a lot of people are talking about Brother Polite going to jail. Brother Polite is going to jail. And I touched on that a little bit. I don't want to get too deep into it because we're talking about, and I, I don't want to get a strike because you're talking about violation of children and all that. I don't want to get too deep, you know. But yeah, that's horrible. That's horrible. And, you know, Polite, years ago, he was in one of our films years ago, and he's done a lot of stuff on The Breakfast Club and all of that stuff. And um, That's horrible. But, yeah, if you, you did that type of shit, you're going where you're supposed to go, and we got to understand this. So let's, let's open this thing all the way up, and we're going to, with the Brother Polite thing. That's, that's, that's some disgusting stuff when you look at what really went down when you read the paperwork and you guys can look online and see, that's some pretty disgusting stuff. And here's the thing, family, let's, this goes back into what we're talking about. You know, we, Foundation of Black Americans, we see folks and, you know, we, we kind of embrace them. But Brother Polite is non-FBA. He's a non-FBA cat. So, again, this goes into us looking into people's background saying, hey man, can we bring certain people around us without checking their background? We gotta start checking everybody's background. Yes, Polite is a Nigerian dude. It's Nigerian, again, I was cool with Polite, but that type of shit messing with kids, and I ain't cool with that. And again, that's why we check people's paperwork. That's why we're checking people's paperwork right now. Yeah? Yes, Polite is non-FBA, and you know when I met Polite, we were cool. Everything was cool in the gang, and I was um, in New York filming, and he just kind of happened to be around. And then you're like, we just got on camera with him and just had him speak a couple of words, and we used some of the footage, which was cool. And I met Polite, very cool with me. Everything was cool. He had a hat on. I couldn't see the hairline. I couldn't see the hairline, and then later on, I saw the hat off, and I saw the hairline. Uh oh. Where's that brother from? Uh oh, I didn't know. My brother had a non-FBA hairline. I didn't see the hairline until later, all right? I didn't see the non-FBA hairline until much later. I didn't see it until later, all right? But that's not cool, huh? That type of stuff ain't cool. This is why we gotta check everybody's background. That's why everybody's background has to be checked, family. You understand? That this is why the foundation of Black American movement is all about checking paperwork now. We're checking paperwork, hairlines, everybody, because we, we don't know what's going on here with folks. We just can't trust everybody. You dig? We can't trust everybody. We got to look in the background. We got to see what's going on. Yeah? We got to see what's going on with everybody. Man. Man, man, man. <laughs> but hey, that is what it is. Yeah, we got to check we got to check everybody. This is why now on everybody's paperwork has to be checked. When, when people come around, I, I, I like to know stuff about them, your family, where you're from. You know, that kind of helps me kind of get an angle to see where people are coming from. This is why it's very important, family. This is why it's so important. Yeah? That's why, because we we've been fooled. We've been fooled. Yeah, somebody said Jay Morrison, and I'm still cool with Jay Morrison, but I did point out Jay Morrison was Dominican Jay for a long time, so you got to take it with a grain of salt. I'm still cool with Jay Morrison and the, the, the Tulsa Fund. I donated money to that. I heard it's in trouble now. I don't know what's going on with it. it is, but again, these backgrounds, we got to check everybody. Yeah. We got to check everybody. Man. Man, man, man. 